Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed and style and cut this 5x5 lace closure wig from Asteria Hair. This is an HD lace closure, so the, wig, the lace is like super thin and undetectable, and I just love it. I just like really fell in love with this wig. I have like really grown to love um, closure wigs. I just feel like they're way more, they're not as, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tedious as frontals. I used to be like a frontal girl, like... All I want to do is wear a frontal. Don't give me a closure. I want a frontal. But this right here, this is it. Like, I can take this off at night if I wanted to, although I did glue it down. But I feel like with a frontal, you don't really want to take that on and off at night. But with a closure, you can take it on and off at night. So, I just love this wig. I did some layering, some really pretty layers. So, I want that nice, feathery, flowy look. The blowout salon look. So I went in with my curling iron and... I use some rollers as well. You'll see these later on in the video and I'll tell you guys at the end of the video where I got them from. Or if you wanna just go ahead and look in the description box, the link should be in there. I highly recommend those if you do wanna like achieve this look because it just really just like brings it to life. I feel like but this hair is just like so pretty. Like This is like my favorite look whenever it comes to hair. Like it's just so pretty. I love it. This wig is really nice as well. I feel like this is like the perfect wig to do this look on because I feel like it's kind of giving me like a natural hair look. Like it's not too shiny. It's not overly silky. So it's like holding. It's silky, but it's not like overly slick. So it's like holding the curl really well. And I believe this was a straight wig. So it's like really holding the curl really well to be a straight wig. But like I said, this hair is from Asteria Hair. I'm gonna have all the links and everything, all the details you guys need. If you guys want to try out this wig yourself and try to like replicate this look. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, a like if you like the video. And if you guys wanna see how I achieve this really pretty bombshell blowout look, then just keep on watching.
stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V. Call me, fly you out to breathe. Full speed, so far it barely. Call me, leave all of your danger. We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V. Call me, fly you out to breathe. Full speed, so far it barely. Speed bulls, and they can be. So this is the finished look. I definitely feel like I achieved the look that I was going for. And I was kind of going for like the blowout look, like a just like sleek blowout. Well, not sleek, but like luminous blowout. I didn't really want defined curls. I wanted just kind of like, what do you call this? Like flips and I don't know, just like a feather, like a feathery look. That's what I was going for, like a feathery look. Like I just left the salon getting a blowout or you know I did it at home. I definitely got the look that I wanted and I'm so happy that I executed it perfectly. I did cut layers into the wig just to kind of like you know you don't like whenever you're going for like the blowout look I feel like you kind of need layers in your hair to get that blowout look you know. So um, all I did was I went in with my curling iron you guys saw and then I used these little like high top rollers. I actually got these from Ulta a while ago. These are the dry bar brand. Um, self grip rollers so they come at six they're like the bigger size and then the smaller size that you guys saw so i love those things i feel like if you really want to get that blowout look you need to get some of those i believe they were like twelve dollars maybe for a set of six i think they're twelve but i will link them below for you guys if i can buy them on ulta's website i feel like the hair is giving really classy and like i'm about to go have a lunch or a late lunch with the girls in the city 
you know, it's giving that. It's giving that. It's kind of making me want to keep this wig on because normally whenever I do do my wig videos, I will take the wig off like immediately after or just long enough to get my pictures and get everything done. But this one, since it is a closure, it's not very like annoying on my head. So I'm kind of contemplating keeping this one on because it's so pretty. This wig is from Mysteria Hair. This is a 5x5 closure wig. It's HD lace, so it's like perfect little blend. You don't have to do too much to blend it. And I don't really know the density. I did cut some of the length off. I believe this was like 20 inches maybe, 22. But it will be linked below for you guys. This is so pretty. The hair is so smooth and silky. And I love the like natural density. It goes really well with this style because it doesn't look over. It doesn't look, it's not like too thin. It's not too thick. So I just love this wig. It's perfect. And I don't know. The wig just looks really dark to me for some reason. I did not dye it. That's going to be it for this video. I'm going to have all the hair details down below for you guys. If you guys want to check out Asteria Hair. I subscribe. Please do me a big favor and hit the subscribe button. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like this. If you like how this wig turned out. Give this video a big thumbs up. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Okay.